Hello, welcome to Arts in the Time of COVID. I'm Nina Guerin and today is Thursday, January 28. If you've been waiting to see Wynton Marsalis in concert, you'll have to wait a little longer. Originally, the trumpet great was supposed to perform as part of the La Jolla Music Society's 2020-2021 season. That show was then reformatted to be four drive-in concerts at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Instead of his usual 15-piece band, the new concert would have featured Marsalis with just six other members of the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra. But due in Marsalis's words to the unrelenting nature of the coronavirus pandemic, the drive-in shows have also been canceled. They will be rescheduled, though no dates have been set. If you had tickets for this concert, refunds will be issued at point of purchase. In a message to the San Diego music community, Marsala said, we look forward to seeing you in person next season. Queen Bee's Cultural Arts Center has been closed since the pandemic began in March. Over the last 13 years, Queen Bee's has hosted all ages concerts, dance classes, poetry slams, art shows, weddings, parties, and even church services. But with mounting costs, it's unclear if the art space will be able to reopen at all. Alma Rodriguez founded the venue, and she's been paying rent and utilities on the empty space from her personal savings. But pressure to open a child care facility in that spot has made it a make or break time for the future of Queen Bees. So in February, there will be a series of live stream fundraisers with the goal of raising $40,000 to keep the place running. On the 10th is a For the Love of Jazz concert, On the 11th is a poetry reading by Ruby Francisco, and a comedy show called Black Lives Laughter is scheduled for February 13th. Tickets are available at queenbeesd.com, and you can also head over anytime and make a donation on that site. Instead of shutting down during the pandemic, San Diego musician and writer Alfred Howard got busy. He came up with a project called Alfred Howard Writes, where he challenged himself to write two songs a week until he reached 100 songs. Since June, he's been posting two songs on his site that feature local musicians like Rebecca Jade and Bertie Bardot. Each song is also accompanied by a watercolor painting, painted by Marion Howard, Alfred's mother. Earlier this month, the Alfred Howard Writes Project got attention from The Kelly Clarkson Show. The talk show host and fellow musician did a virtual interview with Alfred and Marion. You can find the songs and make a donation at alfredhowardwrites.com. Find these stories and more at sandiegouniontribune.com. The arts may be dark, but we continue to tell artist stories. Become a subscriber and get unlimited digital access to all of our news, wherever and whenever you want it. Don't miss a story. Go to sandiegouniontribune.com slash subscribe.